getting an anti-inflammatory, anti-microbial, soothing of an itchy scalp. On top of that, you're getting B vitamins. It's amazing. super excited for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel I'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of curly chemistry well I hope you guys understand your hair and ingredients from a cosmetic chemist perspective and I also hope you guys start hair care lines as well and today we are talking about herbal rinses herbal tea rinses that can consistently give you some amazing healthy, growing hair. And if you haven't noticed, uh, tea rinses are actually becoming a thing. They're only gonna gain in popularity. What makes tea rinses so amazing is that they contain phytochemicals. And phytochemicals are organic compounds that plants and flowers produce, but for them, they use it as a defense mechanism. But I always say that our hair and our scalp is very related to plants and flowers, so we too can take advantage of these phytochemicals. So we're going to talk about that, and then we're also going to be talking about scalp permeability, the ability for a substance or ingredient to actually get to the bulb of the follicle to do the thing we need it to do. But unfortunately, not everything we use actually gets down, okay? But the three T rinses I'm talking about, they do that. So stay tuned. Okay, so first, let's talk about scalp permeability. Now, in our scalp, there are multiple layers, but for the sake of this video, I really just wanna focus on three main layers, which are the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. Now, the epidermis, this is where corneal sites reside, and corneal sites help to prevent toxic substances from getting into our scalp, and they also help support moisture retention as well. Then you have the dermis. This is where the follicle is at, the hair bulb is at, your sebaceous glands that produce the sebum. This is where they are housed within your scalp. Under that is the hypodermis. This is where your fat cells are at and also your blood vessels. Now, if the goal is the hair follicle in the bulb, really the goal is the dermis part of our scalp. So we need ingredients that are going to penetrate deep within that part of the scalp. And this is where phytochemicals come into play, but not just any old phytochemical. You want terpenes. Terpenes are going to be the main star player in plants and teas that you are after to give you actual results. So with that being said, let's talk about the three teas that are rich in terpenes. Number one is going to be chamomile. Chamomile, as you guys know, is a flower. It is amazing. A lot of you guys probably use it like already for like an upset stomach. For our hair, chamomile has a terpene in it called bisabolol. Now, this terpene is known for being antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory and it helps to soothe an itchy scalp. Now, that's great, but I want us to focus on that anti-inflammatory and that antimicrobial because the probably one of the biggest things that's gonna stunt your hair growth is going to be scalp conditions. And a lot of scalp conditions are due to inflammation and microbes being on your scalp. And the second thing about chamomile tea that has visible law is that it has a high amount of panthenol which is an amazing B vitamin for our hair. And B vitamins are really essential for healthy growing hair. Okay, the second tea is going to be lemongrass. As you guys know, lemongrass is a plant. It's grown in various parts of the world and it's used quite often in the DIY community to add a lemony scent to your creations. Now, what makes lemongrass so amazing is that it contains fernosol which is another amazing phytochemical terpene. Now, Farnesol, it is known for strengthening the hair follicles. So this is gonna be great for keeping your hair as long as possible and reducing shedding. 
you know? Now, of course, our hair sheds 50 to 100 strands a day. However, excessive shedding is not okay. And this is where these teas can come into play, like lemongrass, to help to reduce shedding by strengthening the follicle. Okay, and the third and final tea I wanna recommend for this video is going to be jasmine tea, okay? I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with jasmine. You can go to your store right now and get some jasmine tea. Now, here's the thing about jasmine tea. It contains nerolidol. Now, what makes this Nerolidol ingredient so amazing is that it is also a terpene, a phytochemical. Now, because it is a terpene and we're going to get that amazing penetration enhancer, it's going to give you like a double benefit because most jasmine teas are going to be mixed with green tea. And green tea naturally has caffeine. And caffeine is great for stimulating blood flow to the scalp. So you can potentially get some amazing hair growth with jasmine tea. On top of that, you're gonna also get some strengthening of the follicle properties here as well to help reduce shedding. And on top of that, you're also going to get reduction of free radicals. I talked about this in the previous video, how the summer is here. I think today's the first day of summer. And with the sun comes free radicals and free radicals can disrupt your hair growth cycle, meaning taking you out of the antigen phase, your active growth phase, and going straight into the, the resting and the shedding phase. We don't want that. We want this antigen phase to go on as long as possible. So with jasmine tea, it's known for reducing free radicals because it's also an antioxidant, which is what we want in the case of free radicals, okay? So with all that being said, you guys have some nice options to start off with this weekend between the jasmine tea, the lemongrass tea, and also the chamomile tea. So with all that being said, Let's talk about how to use it and how often to use it. Now, one of the beautiful things about herbal tea rinses is that they are so easy to make. So once you have your tea bag, put it inside your cup or glass measuring cup, add some boiling water, and I would say let it steep between five to 10 minutes. Personally, I think anything over 10 minutes is kind of overkill, so five to 10 minutes should be just fine. Let it cool off and then add it to either a spray bottle or like a regular plastic bottle with like a nozzle for direct scalp application. And once again, the beautiful thing about this is that it is water, so you can also use this as a moisture spray for your hair as well. Now, how often to use it? For something like this, I would say every day. You can use it on a daily basis if you choose. If you find that it's too much of a task for you, you can cut it down to maybe three times a week or whatever works best for you. And of course, with anything you use, if you see like, okay, my scalp isn't reacting well to this, I don't like it, just discontinue using it. But for the most part, I hope this video has been super helpful for you and you learned some things about these teas and terpenes and phytochemicals and their benefits and the scalp mobility and all the things. Once again, to join the Curly Chemistry community, all you have to do is subscribe to stay in the loop for more Curly Chemistry content. My next video is going to be on the secret life of oils on the scalp. It's going to be such a great video, so stay tuned for that. Of course, I have a question for you. We are kind of like in the halfway point of the year, and around this time is when I want to ask you guys to give me some requests. <laughs> like, what kind of videos do you guys want to see from Curly Chemistry? What are some topics? want me to cover, you know, or recover that I did in the past, whatever it is, comment below with your video requests, and I cannot wait to join the conversation with you. If you're interested in learning more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry in your hair, check out the natural hair care wisdom flashcards in the Curly Girls Got to Hair Care ingredients for more information about your luscious plants and flowers that's growing out of your scalp. Um, I'll have a link below for you with more information. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, you can work with me one-on-one, -on -one, and I'll also have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.